a smartphone made? Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. Steve Jobs said during a Mac World keynote in 2007 and this was hyperbole, but the introduction of the original iPhone was a major moment in mobile history. Smartphones from companies such as Apple, Samsung or Oppo are among the most popular consumer products today. There's a series of stages occurred during the global production process, so, what is it like? The life of production is smartphone from the production of raw materials through to processing and manufacturing. Let's take a smartphone say from Apple or Samsung as an example and look at these stages, but after break, still with us please. Welcome again. The stages are The first one is development and design. The second one is production. The production have two parts, collection of raw materials, and manufacturing. Manufacturing contains PCB printed circuit board making, smartphone assembly, and quality tests. There is a development in the design of a new smartphone model this is done by the company's own product design departments at Apple for example their headquarters in California. The production process starts with the collection of raw materials. For a smartphone a whole variety of materials are needed metals such as tantalum, cobalt, and copper are particularly important. Cobalt is used for powerful batteries. The largest cobalt manufacturer by far is the Democratic Republic of Congo. Large amounts of tantalum are also sourced in the Congo. The production of individual components and assembly is mostly done at factories in China and India. These factories are run by companies like Flextronic Southcom and Foxconn. We will take you on a tour in the Oppo factory in China. During our tour we will see the launch and build process of the new phone, and that's the phone's motherboard. Boards are slowly printed along the factory lines. So, this machine is the first machine on the line. And tested as they go. So, you can see on the screen there's a cross. On this part. It means that this part is not up to standard. Each component from a board must be added in mechanically and fed in from what are essentially tapes. Each board is mechanically and visually tested. Caddies used for each board part are dropped for later reuse. While the basic circuit boards head to testing with no internet many of the systems in play here use older Windows operating systems back to Windows XP. Here you can see all the individual components that go into making the phone including the main casing, the main board, the SIM tray, the battery, the antenna, and all necessary cables. That means it's time to start producing the phone. Most of the production is done by hand although certain specified parts are robotic. This results in quite a large staff and are quite open about their working conditions. Every two hours staff is given a five minute break. Shifts are 10 hours long and the factory operates on a 24 hour basis, seven days a week. After engraving that company name the cases are then checked for defects before moving on cables are largely hand connected before being moved down the factory line. Each position covers just one cable or function which is a classic factory production technique. Not everything is hand manufactured though. Anytime you need to screw something in or weld something into place, that's handled mechanically. The installation of the mobile antenna involves a mix of robotic and human interaction. 
before a phone ever gets into production and undergoes about 150 different tests. Temperature tests to ensure it doesn't overheat. Radiation tests to ensure consumer safety. And then thousands of drop tests. New designs are put through 20,000 drop tests on the top and bottom of the phone and 2,000 tests on each of the phone's four sides from as high up as 1.8 meters. The phones are also tortured with up to 10,000 twists. Although the models used for quality assurance testing are then unsold. Once specific components are on board it's time for even more testing. The battery is in place and the phone is nearly complete but its journey out of the factory isn't complete just yet time to place the anti-tampering stickers. Therefore checking if the phone has been opened by anyone before. Testing includes fixed photographic patterns so that you can ensure the proper focus is achieved every single time. The precise nature of the tests means that they must be handled robotically to ensure the reliability of each test result. Robots do not get rest breaks. Here the USB interface on the phone is tested to ensure that it can both charge and pass data through at the correct rate. The phone's LTE radio is also tested to ensure that it will work optimally on mobile network. The IMEI, that's the unique identifier on every single phone, is tested to ensure that it's been properly applied to each handset. So, this is IMEI. One last final visual check and you've got a complete handset. Now all you got to do is repeat that several thousand times a day and you've got a product you can send to the market.